Hi, welcome to Mr. Wickens Reads. Tonight's episode is Mr. Big by Ed Veer. And I'm joined tonight by child number one. Hi. And child number two. Hello. Uh, and this will feature some music by Dan Burnett, uh, which if you're interested, uh, you can YouTube and it's called Insane... What's it called? Insane Blues Piano. Awesome. Here we go. Mr. Big. Mr. Big. Let me tell you about a story. No, let's start again. <laughs> <clears throat> Let me tell you about a story. No, I'll say that again. <laughs> I'm reading the words in the wrong order. Let's try a third time. <clears throat> Let me tell you a story about a friend of mine. He goes by the name of Big. Mr. Big. Now, Mr. Big had a very small problem. Compared to everyone else, he was extremely big. He was so big that anywhere he went, all everyone saw was someone big and scary. No one stuck around to find out who he really was. So inside, Mr. Big felt very, very small. And that's how it always was. When Mr. Big went to the cafe, everyone had other things to do. And when Mr. Big got on the bus, everybody else got off. And when he went to the pool, well, let's just say everyone needed to be somewhere else. No one ever saw the real Mr. Big. One day, Mr. Big noticed a piano in a shop window. It looked all alone, just like him. So he bought it and he took it home. As Mr. Big sat alone at the piano, he thought of all the things that made him sad. And then he played. Hey man, that cat can play! His music drifted out through the open window and into the evening sky. It drifted across the rooftops, over to his neighbours, and they wondered who was playing such beautiful music. The word spread night after night. Everyone came from all over town and still no one knew who was playing. It was a big mystery. But inside, Mr. Big was still alone. And then, one morning, Mr. Big received his first ever letter. It was an invitation, and it said, Dear Mystery Pianist, uh, thank you for your fun, uh, uh, beautiful music. Everyone's been listening to you for weeks, and we're all wondering, like, uh, one thing. Who are you? We'd love to meet you. Me and a couple of the guys are jam uh, uh, playing tonight at the four, oh no, the Blue Note. Please come and join our band. See you later. A friend. <gasps> that night, Mr. Big joined the band. All night long, the joint was jumping and nobody wanted to leave. At last, everybody could see the real Mr. Big. Go, baby, go. Groovy, man. Hop, man! Yeah, baby, jazz! Yeah, cool. He's cooking, Daddy-O! That's all, folks. Let's hear it for Mr. Big! Now that Mr. Big had hit the big time, and everyone wants to meet them, Mr. Big has a new problem. He doesn't get much time to be alone. And that's just the way he likes it. Please can you sign my book, Mr. Big? 
Groovy, baby. I'm your biggest fan. Like, uh, is it really you? Wow, can I have your autograph, please? <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Big. We love you, Mr. Big. Like, uh, wow. Come back soon. There we go. Mr. Big. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Thank you.